Welcome to Catholic Shrine Basilica YouTube channel. Basilica of the Virgin of the Forsaken, Valencia, Spain. Introduction. The Royal Basilica of the Virgen de los Desamparados, Basilica of the Virgin of the Forsaken, is located in the city of Valencia. It stands out for being the sanctuary of the Virgen de los Desamparados, patron saint of Valencia and of the entire Old Kingdom of Valencia, current Valencian community. It shows the Basilican dignity thanks to the pontifical brief signed by S.S. Pius XII on April 21, 1948. The Basilica of the Virgen de los Desamparados is located in the largest area of the city of Valencia. Thus configuring, together with the cathedral, one of the most significant enclaves in the historic center of the city. Specifically, it is located in the Plaza de la Virgen, in front of the allegorical fountain of the river Turia and its ditches, Rascaña, Tormoz, Mestalla, Mislata, Rovella, Favara, Benegar i Fitaner and Court. Two of its doors open onto this square, and a third opens onto the passageway that separates the basilica from the cathedral, both of which are joined by an upper arch. In this third door there is a barred window through which the interior can be seen when the basilica is closed and the illuminated virgin can be seen. Excavations carried out in La Almoina indicate that the area where the basilica is located corresponds to the Roman Forum of the city of Valencia. In fact, various ashlars on the main facade of the basilica are tombstones and inscriptions from Roman times. Since the beginning of the 15th century, from generation to generation, through time and a multitude of spaces, this has been the reason for love that has led the Christians of Valencia to build a house for their patron saint, and to seek its constant embellishment, the great devotion that we profess to such a tender mother, with the sweet title of the Forsaken. It was therefore the filial piety of the Valencians, with all the greatness of their anonymity, that after acquiring this plot of land by popular subscription, and with the help of the Council of the Quida, built on it, a new floor, this magnificent chapel Baroque the Temple was inaugurated, with royal patronage, on May 10, 1667. Its main architect was the architect from Raycon, Diego Martinez Ponce de Urana, helped by José Montero and José Artigues. History The image of Our Lady of the Forsaken was made by diligence of blessed Juan Giliberto Jofer, and it was venerated at first in the general hospital of this city. The current chapel was built in 1667 at the initiative of the Viceroy, Count of Oropesa. It was renovated in 1767, and in 1823 the dressing room and main altarpiece of fine marble were completed. Palomino painted the frescoes that abound. D. Juan Vicente del Olmo published in 1653 an extensive detail of the tombstones that were found in this place, with other Roman antiquities, assuring the aforementioned lithologist that a temple dedicated to Aesculapius must have once existed here. The presence of the image of the Virgin, according to various authors, dates from 1414, its authorship being wrapped in the legend of the angelic construction. Initially, its recumbent configuration, arranged on the coffins of the executed, had a small pillow that moved the head forward. This fact meant that when she was standing upright, she was seen with her characteristic head tilt, calling her Giperudeta, hunchback, in Spanish. Fernando el Catolico, in a royal privilege, granted the title to his historic brotherhood with the name of Verge dels Innocents e de Samparitz on June 3, 1493. The visit of King Philip IV to Valencia in 1632 and the circumstance that his victories in Fuenterabia and Tortosa were justified through the intercession of the Virgin, prompted the promotion of a new royal chapel dedicated to the Virgin of the Forsaken. Likewise, the Virgen de los Desamparados was credited with having interceded during the plague of 1647 in the cure of the Viceroy Count of Oropesa thus convincing the Viceroy himself of the need to provide the image with a worthy residence. For some time the location of the chapel was discussed. Finally, 
it was decided to build it next to the cathedral, a center of devotion. Architecture, Architectural Styles, Baroque Architecture, Renaissance Architecture During the 17th century, numerous Baroque constructions were erected in Valencia, most of them religious, and old Gothic buildings were transformed both inside and out. The Royal Chapel of the Virgen de los Desamparados, with a category of basilica since 1872, was built between 1652 and 1666 by Diego Martinez Ponce de Urana, based on the designs made by the most important architects of the time, approved and very possibly, oriented by Juan Gomez de Mora, senior master of the king. The composition of the first building is framed in a late Renaissance language, characterized by its classicist sobriety, its constructive sincerity and its economy of means, enhancing the values of proportion, symmetry and balance. Inside, the discovery of the original ornamentation from 1666, made up of rustication, rosettes and graffito of child angels intertwined with borders in the interspaces of the dome, leads us to a severe building in its conception, characterized by its whiteness, combining, perfectly, the idea of Renaissance centrality, square plan, with the Baroque dynamism of the elliptical space, finished off with a dome. This is the first oval floor plan to be built in Valencia for a religious temple, although it is not the first experimentation with the oval design in the city's architecture, and it was already relatively well known in the Hispanic world. The religious fervor surrounding the healing properties of the Virgen de los Desamparados influenced the choice of the oval design, since at that time the figure of the oval carried Marian symbolism. Between 1683 and 1694, and in a completely Baroque language, Greek cross plan with flared arches and oblique architecture, the Camarine de la Virgen was built as a chapel sanctuary, directly linked to the central elliptical space, through its interconnection total space, considering it as a unique case in the history of architecture. In 1701, at the height of the Baroque effervescence, a new interior dome was built, theoretically hanging from the exterior, according to the findings of this investigation, on which Antonio Palomino made the great pictorial composition. During the 18th to 20th centuries, the Royal Chapel underwent successive and important transformations, neoclassical reform, romantic and historicist actions, with a substantial modification of the sober and austere initial Renaissance approach, endowing it with great formal and material wealth. Our Lady of Forsaken Our Lady of the Forsaken, Spanish, Virgen de los Desamparados or Nuestra Señora de los Desamparados, is a Catholic invocation of the Virgin Mary. She is the patroness of Valencia and one of seven patrons of the autonomous communities of Spain. She appears with a lily in one hand and in the other, she carries the baby Jesus who bears the cross in his arms. Her posture is characterized by a slight forward tilt, and hence, she is known affectionately as the Giperudeta, hunchback, of Valencia. Her image is housed in the Basilica de la Virgen de los Desamparados. The image of the Virgen de los Desamparados has its basilica in the Plaza de la Virgen, in the very historic center of Valencia and next to the cathedral. There is another image of the Virgen de los Desamparados, called the Pilgrim, who travels through different neighborhoods, associations or entities in Valencia and presides over events wherever she is requested. This image would be made by the Valencian sculptor Octavio Vicente in 1966 and measures 1 meter 33 centimeters. The Virgin of the Forsaken receives the affectionate name of the Giperudeta, read Cheperudeta, whose translation into Spanish would be hunchback. This is due to a slight forward lean that makes it look like it has a small hump on its back. The origin of the devotion to the Virgen de los Desamparados is intimately linked to the birth in 1410 of the first hospital for the insane in the world, known as Hospital de Inuyentes, Falls e Oretz. The hospital institution was placed under the patronage of the Virgin Mary. The origins of the hospital were modest, 
since its maintenance was the responsibility of the founders and alms. On March 11, 1413, the creation of a brotherhood was approved and on August 1, 1414, King Fernando de Antequera signed the founding privilege of the Nostra Donna Sancta Maria dels Inocentes Brotherhood, whose objectives included the assuming the cost of maintaining the hospital, helping and serving the insane, burying the corpses of the executed and the unknown, and accompanying the death row prisoners to the scaffold. Over time, more obligations would be assumed, protecting the homeless, foundlings, prisoners, providing poor maidens and protecting the fembers pecatrius del bordel, prostitutes. On October 5, 1416, King Alfonso the Magnanimous signs a royal privilege authorizing the construction of an image for the Brotherhood. In 1417 we have the first news of the existence of an image belonging to the Brotherhood and in 1426 in one of the inventories of the Brotherhood there is the image that goes on the bull rings, image that goes on the bodies, in clear allusion to a image that was placed on the bodies of the deceased. In 1451 another inventory collects this image more accurately, Image de la Verge Maria e ab los jhs al bras ab la creo al col e innocence al pois e dos angels. Over time, the image would take on the name of Nostra Donna Sancta Maria del Zignocence to which Dels Falls, Madman, was also added on occasions, but on June 3, 1493 by royal privilege of King Ferdinand the Catholic it was decided that from that moment on the image would be entitled Nostra Donna dels Desamparates. History of Our Lady of Forsaken The image of the Virgen de los Desamparados was kept in the Capitulate Chapel where it was venerated. As a result of the plague epidemic of 1647, the number of faithful in the chapel increased considerably so the Brotherhood moved the image to one of the chapels located outside the apse of the Cathedral of Valencia, in what is currently known as the Chapel dels Tapeners and in front of the Plaza de la Seo, now Plaza de la Virgen. By then the Basilica of the Virgin had not begun to be built, it would be completed 20 years later, in 1667. According to a pious tradition, the image of the Virgin of the Forsaken was made by angels, this tells us how the Brotherhood of the Hospital asked Father Jofre to provide them with a representative image of the Brotherhood and the Hospital. In these circumstances, three pilgrims presented themselves to Frey Gilabert Jofre and offered to sculpt the image in three days. They only asked him to leave them a place to work and that no one disturbed them while the work lasted. The pilgrims settled in a small chapel, the current chapel of Capitulate, and after the deadline, on the fourth day, the friar appeared in the chapel and did not find the pilgrims who had disappeared, but the image of the Virgin that had been carved remained. The people immediately interpreted that the pilgrims were angels and that the image, the current iconography, as we can see it today in its basilica, is a standing image, with the traditional curvature of its back and with its face looking down. She carries a bouquet of lilies and a rose, symbols of purity, in her right hand and the child Jesus in her left arm. The child carries a cross resting on his shoulder, alluding to the fact that he carries the weight of the sins of men on himself. Two kneeling children, holy innocent martyrs, facing each other and with folded hands direct their gaze towards the Virgin's face, while the Virgin's cloak gives them protection and shelter. Behind her head we see the nimbus formed by a halo of stars, the Virgen de los Desamparados has always worn innumerable jewels on her dress and in her hands, donations from Valencians who wanted to honor their patron saint. In the last restoration that has been carried out on the image, it has been decided to suppress the vast majority of these jewels and that they be kept and deposited in the Museum of the Basilica. The curvature of his back to which we have made reference, obeys, as we have already indicated, to the fact that the image was originally placed on the coffins of the executed, in a recumbent position and with a cushion under his head. When she rested in her chapel, she was placed on her feet and adopted the posture that we can observe today. Despite the peculiar curvature of her back, the image began to be very loved by the Valencian people because, among other things, 
it gives the sensation that the Virgin is looking at the people who prostrate themselves at her feet. It so happens that the image of the Virgen de los Desamparados is one of the few that have been created expressly for a purpose, most of the virgins that are worshipped throughout Spain have appeared in one way or another miraculously and surrounded by a supernatural aurea. Perhaps because of this circumstance so little supernatural, it is when in the 18th century the legend arose that we have already commented on that it was made by angels. Among the appointments that the Virgen de los Desamparados has, we highlight that of being, Generalissimo of the Spanish armies since 1810, which is why it can sometimes be seen with a general sash and command staff. On April 21, 1885, Pope Leo XIII proclaimed the Virgin as patron saint of the city of Valencia. In 1954 she was appointed honorary and perpetual mayoress of Valencia and in 1961 Pope John XXIII proclaimed her the first and main patron saint of the entire Valencian region. On October 15, 1921, Pope Benedict XV at the request of the Cardinal Archbishop of Valencia Don Enrique Reig Casanova granted the privilege of coronation of the Virgin. This would take place solemnly on May 12, 1923 with the assistance of King Alfonso XIII and his wife, the image being crowned by Cardinal Don Enrique Reig and the mayor of Valencia Don Juan Ardell handing over the crown, declaring her therefore Queen of the Heavens and the Earth. For this anniversary, the coronation hymn was written, which today is the official hymn of the Virgen de los Desamparados. During the Spanish Civil War, 1936-1939, the Basilica of the Virgin was attacked on the afternoon of Tuesday, July 21, 1936 and the image of the Virgin suffered extensive damage. The then Republican Mayor Jose Cano Coloma hid the image behind a wall in the Municipal Historical Archive and it remained there until the end of the war. At the end of the war, it was restored by the sculptor Jose Maria Ponso de Bravo but the restoration was not liked because it did not resemble the previous image and a second restoration was commissioned in 1947 by the sculptor Carmelo Vicente Surya together with Vicente Balaguer Alhambra. The festival of the Virgen de los Desamparados is always celebrated on the second Sunday of May. Festival of Our Lady of the Forsaken the Feast of Our Virgin of the Forsaken is held on the second Sunday of May when Valencians pay tribute to their patron. Late, on the eve of the festival, at the Plaza de la Virgen, the Valencia Municipal Band performs, followed by fireworks over the towers of Serrano, and folk dancing. Early, on the Sunday morning, there is an open-air mass, La Misa de Esquivallarda. On Saturday, May 12, 1923, the solemn coronation of the Virgen de los Desamparados took place on the plain of the ascent to the Bridge del Real, in the presence of the King and Queen of Spain, Don Alfonso XIII and Doña Victoria Eugenia, the nuncio of Pope Pius XI, Federico Tidoschini, and the Valencian Cardinal Bignach, Archbishop of Burgos. Mayor Juan Ardell handed over the crown made by jeweler José Chograins to Cardinal Reg E. Casanova, who blessed those attending the act before placing the crown on the head of the sacred image of the Virgen de los Desamparados, while the kings prostrated themselves on their knees and the troops presented their weapons, the cannons of the artillery regiment thundered through the air firing the 21 salutes of honor and the military bands interpreted the Spanish national anthem. Traslado the highlight of the festival takes place on Sunday mid-morning when the image is carried from her basilica, Basilica de la Virgen de los Desamparados, on Plaza de la Virgen to St. Catherine's Cathedral over a distance of approximately 200 meters. She is adored with rose petals being thrown down from balconies and people crying and shaking with the emotion of the spectacle. Mascleta, on Sunday afternoon. When the traslado is completed, there is a loud daytime fireworks display, the Masclata, a series of firecrackers going off one after the other. Procession Sunday evening features a more solemn procession of ladies dressed in black, men in suits, 
city officials and the Bishop of Valencia followed by Our Lady. The route includes Plaza de la Virgen, Caballeros, Plaza del Tassel, Bolsiria, Mercado, Maria Cristina, San Vicente, PL, Reina, Mar, Avellanas, Palau, and Almoena. Ronda a la Verge. The festival ends on the Monday evening when traditional music is played in the Plaza de la Virgen. Chapel. The foundations rest on the Roman Volantia Forum and within the perimeter rectangle an elegant Baroque oval was traced, covered with a daring dome, topped by a no less graceful lantern. The exterior masonry combined with white stone from Godella and brick from nearby tiles stands out for the majestic sobriety of the Doric order and the dermic blue of much of the roof. Already in 1694 it was extended to make room for the Chapel of the Virgin, the sacristy current Tabernacle Chapel, and the lower Chapel of Christ Covita. In 1703, Antonio Palomino lowered the ceiling and painted his magnificent glory in fresco on the uniform surface of the plaster, which is truly so not only because of the iconographic program, but also because of its quality, dimensions, and exceptional category of the work. This Cordovan priest. He made the vault transparent so that the sky could be seen, not the blue sky of nature, the golden sky of faith. T. Orente. Feast Day. Second Sunday of May. The annual feast day of Our Virgin of the Forsaken is held on the second Sunday of May when Valencians pay tribute to their patron. Late, on the eve of the festival, at the Plaza de la Virgen, the Valencia Municipal Band performs, followed by fireworks over the towers of Serrano, and folk dancing. Mass time. Every days. 8.30 a.m. 9.30 a.m. 10.30 a.m. 11.30 a.m., 12.30 p.m., 1.30 p.m., 5.30 p.m., 6.30 p.m., 7.30 p.m., 8.30 p.m., church visiting time, every days, 7.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. and 4.30 p.m. to 9 p.m. Contact info. Address. Basilica of the Virgin of the Forsaken. Plaza de la Virgen. 6. Valencia 46003, Valencia, Spain. Website www.basilicadsamparados.org. How to reach the Basilica. Valencia Airport, also known as Manizas Airport is situated 8 kilometers west of the city of Valencia, in Manizas, Spain is the nearby airport to the Basilica. Valencia North Train Station in Valencia, Spain is the nearby train station to the Basilica. If you wish to know more about Catholic Shrine Basilicas, Marian Shrines and Marian Apparitions, subscribe to our Catholic Shrine Basilica YouTube channel. Like and share with your loved ones. For more churches website www.catholicshrinebasilica.com